Oh, we are. We're. We're. I think we're. I think. I think the game is going to be locked up. And I'm. I'm not. Oh, we can cut this down now. Whoa, that is brutal for our opponent. Liliana teaming up with Cut Down. What is up, everyone? It's Justin Parnell back again with more Historic Brawl back on Shadows Over Innistrad Remastered. And while Spider didn't do it for us last time as a creature type to focus our deck around, I think that we have one that's going to serve us a lot better. Emphasis on the serve because we're going to be commanding a horde of zombies as Gisa and Zeroth, which is a mythic rare from Shadows Over Innistrad Remastered. It's a 4-4 for two blue-black. When it ETBs, you mill four cards. And then once a turn, you can play a zombie creature from your graveyard, which is good because we have a lot of options, okay? Every single card up here is either a zombie or cares about zombies or makes zombies. It has zombie somewhere on the card, which is kind of an astound astounding amount if you look at all the rest of the cards. These are the only ones that don't say zombie implicitly. And now we don't have all of the most powerful cards in Historic Brawl in this deck, and... You know, I really like to just try to play stuff that is more synergy based. So we still have some, you know, we still have some. Well, if we got a little, we got a wash away, we got a memory lapse, we have, uh, you know, some some of the cheap removal that's good, go for the throat, infernal grasp. But it's a lot of zombie cards. And zombies, as some of you may know, is my absolute favorite creature type in Magic, bar none. So my expectations for this deck are fairly high even though it might not pack the punch from the staple standpoint that a lot of other decks do either way let's get to zombieing right now but before we get into the games please be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel to keep seeing this sweet sweet content every week we are on the play against riel the everwise and uh we have two islands in our hand which we have to mulligan we have four islands in our deck so uh, this is much better. It's okay that we don't have blue as long as we have black. And we have a Jadar and a Falmire Knight. Yes. I am happily going to keep this hand. We'll start off with a Hive of the Eye Tyrant. You know what? Let's go ahead and get down our Falmire, our Falmire Knight. So it's just a 1-1 one, one for 1 with Death Touch. But it is a zombie. And if we ever get it back in our hand, we can do Profane Insight. Send it on an adventure. All right. Let's go attacking and play Jadar. Man, Jadar is one of my favorite... It might be my favorite card out of uh, Midnight Hunt. It's just a really, really, really great card. So, being able to make zombies every single turn of the game is kind of ridiculous, even though they die. Like, the fact that you just get to make them, and things dying is not really a bad thing. We have a lot of ways to leverage that, so... I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see how it uh, works out. Jadar notably is a human wizard, not actually a zombie himself, so we can't play Jadar from our graveyard with Gisendroff. So, womp womp womp. A little sad there, but we can play Felmire Knight. Now, we can't play Profane Insight because this is just an adventure card. It's not a zombie, even though Felmire Knight is a zombie. The good thing is about Riel is she always has three toughness, even if her power gets bigger. So Crippling Fear is always going to take her out whenever she hits the battlefield. Witness Protection, huh? All right, well, I guess this zombie will be our last zombie. Yeah, let's go ahead and just get in there. It will decay itself away. Crippling Fear... Uh, We'll kill our legitimate business person, Citizen. They're definitely a legitimate business person. Dark Salvation, we can make one zombie and then give this minus... I guess minus two, minus two. So, let's go ahead and attack. And if legitimate business person bites the dust, that's fine. Yeah, just attack. You want to block Putrid Goblin? That's cool. Putrid Goblin will return as a 1-1. One, one. And Dark Salvation, we're just going to do one, and we're going to give this uh, essentially minus... We're going to make ourselves one zombie, and then give this minus three, minus three. Where that's the number of zombies we control. We're just going to put the pressure on. 
We obviously do want a uh, a blue mana at some point. We don't necessarily need to like aggressively play Geese and Giroff on on this turn though. All right, I think it is time. Let's just crippling fear so we can get rid of Riel. And Riel might be able to like kill something, like with a lightning bolt or a shock. And that's fine. We just don't want them to untap with Riel. Because whenever you, they discard cards, they draw that many cards, so... Wizard's Lightning? Sure. Uh, yeah, we will choose Zombie. Goodbye, legitimate business person. You are always definitely a legitimate business person. Okay. Not a lot going on. We have Hive of the Eye Tyrant. The Royal Scions. Royal Scions are quite good with Riel. Ooh, we pit they pitched a wonder. So they do have an island, so all of their things are going to have uh, flying. We're going to go after the Royal Scions. What 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 are we going to get rid of? I don't really care about them having flying. I think I'm going to get rid of this Wizard's Lightning. Make Riel smaller. We want it to be in cut down range, you know? Really need Riel to be in cut down range. Royal Signs are going to go up again. Draw a discard. Such a powerful man. It's so crazy. This card just saw no play, but it's such a such a crazy powerful planeswalker. Yeah, that goes. That's that's Throne of Eldraine for you. Okay. So they're just going to bounce that and take another turn. I mean, that's the mildest. That is the mildest Karn's Temporal Sundering I've seen in my entire life. But I guess they kind of had to. They're definitely under the gun here. No question about that. I'd really love to draw another land. Now light up the night. And an Iron Craig Pyromancer. Okay. Draw, then discard. This is going to deal three to any target, which is going to be this Falmire Knight. I'm, I'm sure of it. Okay. All right. Well, we need to we need to get this Royal Scions while we can. Uh, this has Menace, so we're going to menacingly go at the Royal Scions, and you know, let's, let's keep just eating their instants and sorceries. We'll get the Wonder later. I'm not worried about that. All right, Narset going downstairs. Found a Mox Amber. All right. All right, here's Riel. An O3. We've been able to keep instants and sorceries out of their uh, discard pile. Now we got a ghoulish procession. We're not really drawing cards. Not really concerned about wonder. All right, let's just... um. Let's try to attack them again. If they go to kill it, we're going to cut down... Probably the Pyromancer? Shark Typhoon. Okay. Discard. Get to draw a card. Alright. Pretty good. Oh, and they're drawing their second card? We should, we should have cut it down in response. That was... That was actually... That was not good. That was not great. Alright, we'll get Riel. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. We definitely... We, we definitely had... Uh, we could have done it with this trigger on the stack. So we got to keep our Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Frenzy Geist Blaster. And... Uh, you may discard a card and then seek a card, which is not draw. Time Warp! We all know how I feel about Time Warp. Not good. That's how I feel about it. So, we have one zombie in our graveyard. Underworld Breach. Well, it's going to be another Time Warp, I'm sure. 
It's a use it or lose it situation. Our world breach is not long for this world. It's a breach. Got to do it quick. Breach, breach, breach. That should be the, you know, the like, the audio and VXX. It should just be breach. It should just keep saying breach. Oh boy. Oh, that's a big uh, shark typhoon. That's a big deal. Hmm, okay. Looks like we are ghoulish processioning and putrid gobbling. And now the the problem is we left that wonder in their discard pile. And that could bite us. Could very well bite us. These, these sharks already have fly. Play with fire. Going at our face. Much preferred if we wanted the putrid goblin. Uh, I think I think this shark typhoon is going to turn things around. Not for the better either. Okay, diagraph colossus. It's a three three. Uh, they can just block here, so we will not attack. Man. However, the Eye Tyrant dying, that has been bad news. We could have stopped it. We didn't. They just, they got some flyers. They got the flyers. Attacking us for six? That puts us dead next turn. Oh, Lord. Super dead next turn. Oh, my gosh. And we're going to end the game with zero... With zero blue mana. I don't know if that's really been the problem. I think there's a lot of lot of problems that have been had. And I think the lack of blue mana was not chief among them. Alright, we're gonna lose this first one against Riel. Riel's gonna come back. Faithless looting. Arguably the best card in their entire deck. Oh wow, they even discarded two lands. Pretty sick. Nice, good game, good game. I can appreciate it, Riel's pretty sweet. Up next, we're on the play against Aster, Bearer of Blades. And we have blue and black mana this time, so... Praise be to Erebos. We get to play one of our zombie lords on turn two. Love to see it. Blade Stitch Scob. Gives all of our other zombies plus one, plus zero. We have maybe our best Planeswalker. Lily on the Last Hope. Which I really want to ultimate. Pretty badly, if I'm being honest. I don't know if it's going to happen against Aster. This is uh, likely a fairly aggressive deck, but you, know, you never know. Coming down on turn three, maybe we got to play a one toughness thing and we can pick it off. All right. Ooh, Necro Duality. Feeling pretty good about this one. Feeling pretty good about this one. All right. We'll attack. All right, Necro Duality is definitely coming down on turn four. The Necro Duality of man, or zombie in this case. All right. Attack. All right. Let's do it. Let's Necro do it. All right. Not target anything. Liliana's at five. Um, I'm calling the shots here. She is calling the shots. That is absolutely true. Is, always has been. Aster. Okay, look at the top seven. You can get an equipment or a vehicle. Do they whiff? The full-on whiff? Oh, that's not good. That is not good for them. Oh, we are... We're, we're, I, think we're, I, think, I think the game is going to be locked up. And I'm, I'm not... Oh, we can cut this down now? Whoa! That is brutal for our opponent. Liliana teaming up with cut down? Jeez. Oh, man. Look at this Necro Duality. Copping our Lord? Oh, I mean, it's... This is just... it's base, This is basically over. Not what our opponent's able to do. They have to, they have to deal with our zombies, and then they also have to deal with Liliana. Okay, that's a good start. That is a very, very good start. 
So let's just play Liliana's Devotee. Okay. Submit zero, pass the turn. And we'll hold up this memory lapse. I have no idea what this does. Enters the battlefield, it deals twice number of vehicles, target creature, or planeswalker. Oh no, we don't want that to happen. Let's go ahead and put that back on top. And then Liliana can get out of range. Bladed cudgel. Okay, sure. Alright. Let's go ahead and get out of range. Submit zero. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just Geese and Drolf. Why not? Mill four. Yes, Crit Breaker. Oh, so good. Two Crit Breakers. All right. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a really good... We need, need to hit a one-drop zombie, and that was the best one. All right. All right, they can deal that too. Oh, it is just... Oh, it's getting bad. It is getting bad news for our opponent. Uh, we're just go we're going all out. We're going all out. Oh, we're gonna attack with all of these. Put our opponent to one. We're gonna make a zombie, which we can draw a card with Crit Breaker. I mean this look this is just this was a masterpiece. Doomscar. Alright. One, two, three. I'll draw a card. Tainted Adversary? That, that's that's also a really good one. Man. Our opponent has stayed alive. Oh my god. This is so good. All we need to do is play the Tainted Adversary and then cycle Gimpom Polluter and that will be it. That's That will literally be it. We're not going to kick it. We're just going to play it. Necro duality is gonna happen. Uh, we're not. We're gonna decline that. We're gonna decline that, and that is it. Our opponent is gonna lose two life. Yes, please and thank you. Uh, yeah, equal number of zombies we control. Mmm, success. Uh, that was a satisfying win. Another denizen of Innistrad. We have the famous Gitrog monster. Now. We have this pathway. We're gonna keep. We're gonna keep this hand. Fortunately, we can deploy a zombie before we have to choose whether this goes on black or blue. Obviously, we're probably gonna put it on blue, but we want to wait as long as possible. We're gonna play this siege zombie first. Boreal grazer, huh? Getting that extra land out. Boreal grazer, quite, quite powerful. All right, Siege Zombie. Show me another land that is not colorless. We have so few colorless lands in here. And we have Faceless Haven and Muta Vault, and that's it. It's tough to look. Tyler's Provisioner, that is also a good one. Champion of the Perished, okay, well. We'll play the champ, the People's Champ. And then we will pass the turn. They can just block. And now we get to hold up Disdainful Stroke uh, and or Memory Lapse. We really want to... Oh, that's pretty good. Are they going to be able to play... Uh, because they're going to get two lands, two treasures, they can play the Gitrog Monster. Well, we got a Counterspell for the, the Gitrog Monster. The famous Gitrog Monster. Yep. Let's disdainful stroke that. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And there's another another swamp, and we will play our undead auger. Grow this to a 2-2, two -two, and we still can't attack, but we at least can tap all of our creatures to have them lose a life. So, there is something... There is something for that. Cut down. That's going to resolve. 
We're going to tap all of these. They lose a life. And we're going to lose a life and draw a card. Which we'll happily do. You know. Happily being... Binding the old gods. Hold on now. Binding the old gods. I really don't want Champion to Perish to go, but we can just replay it, so we'll say okay. Not ideal. We get to go get a land also. That's not fun. Cool. Kalidus is pretty good. All right. Let's go ahead and play Geese and Giroff, and then we can play our champion back out. We hit one zombie. One zombie is fine. And this is just creatures. These don't have to be zombies. So we can tap these three, make them lose a life. We got our shields down, but, I mean, we can't play scared. They're just going to have such a, a massive mana advantage that we need to... We need to deploy stuff. And if that means that they have... To get Drog Monster, so be it. We're not going to really be able to stop it. Okay, fortunately that was on a land that sacrificed itself. A storefront. Phyrexian Arena. Okay, yeah. That happens. Alright. Tap these three. They lose a life. Crippling Fear. Crippling Fear is pretty good, actually. Hmm. This can this can make two zombies. I think I would like to get Kalidus down and then Crippling Fear to kill these two. So let's let's do that. Uh, let's not. Yeah. Okay. What if we what if we lift this one up? Leave the one up that could be either. Wish we wish we had a land another land, but. That's okay. All right. Can we survive one turn? Uh, our opponent's going to draw so many cards this turn. Maybe they'll deploy a bunch of things that we can kill with uh, Crippling Fear. That's what I would. That's what I would really like. I'd really like if they did that. The drug monster's tough. It's a, it's a very tough commander that doesn't see as much play anymore, but it's one of those that's almost impossible to stop once it gets rolling because it just plays so many extra lands out and has a lot of other ways to leverage playing extra lands, so, like, counter spells and removal spells only hurt it so much. We're going to take six. We're going to take nine. It's got Death Touch. Yeah, well, we don't want any of our creatures to die, so. We'll take 9. Go to 11. That has 4 Toughness. That was not part of the deal. It was not part of the deal at all. You're supposed to only have 3 Toughness. Oh, Dark Salvation's pretty good. I can kill this afterwards. Okay, well. Uh, crippling Fear. Actually, we can kill the Getrog monster. Alright, let's choose Zombie. Alright, it's going to kill those two. It's going to get bigger. And let's attack... I uh, should have should have should have go ahead and killed this now, but we'll attack. Attack with these. No blocks. Oh, we got a hive of the eye tyrant. I missed that. Okay, well, so be it. Block Geesinger off. Uh, yeah, that happens. Uh, we'll put it in the command zone. Definitely was not paying attention. Uh, yeah, we're going to pay zero, confirm zero, we're going to target ourselves, and then we're going to target uh, the Get Drug Monster. Pay black. Yeah. 
All right, this is bigger, and we untap. And we can make Kalidus pretty big. We can make Kalidus pretty big by sacrificing zombies. We're getting in Jimpom Polluter range. Which is good. All right, get Shark Monsters back. Which is fine. How many zombies do we even have in here? Two? We can drain them for one here. Okay. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Lord of the Accursed is definitely nice. This gives our zombies menace. I think if we can live until the next turn, we should be able to win. I mean, we'll attack with Lord of the Accursed if they want to trade here. Maybe we should attack with all of our zombies. All of our zombie tokens, anyway. If we attack with everything, they block these two, and then they take 12, and then we can drain them for 5. Yeah, they're just dead. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, yep. Let's do it. Attack. How would you like to block? Block there. Block there. That is a really bold attack. Now, it's not going to work out. It's, it's super not going to work out for you. But it's a really bold attack. Or a really bold block. Yes. Two for Jump on Polluter. Yes. Brings me back. Oh my gosh. I played that in Block Constructed. Onslaught Block Constructed. Love it so much. Uh, Alright. Big test. Attracts a Grand Unifier. We're on the play and we have our good friend Jump on Polluter. Uh, we're obviously... Oh, that's a Crypt Breaker, which is excellent. So we'll keep this. Compelling Deterrence is a pretty sweet one. This is... Just a bounce spell, but if we control a zombie, they discard a card. You know. And if it's the last card, that's basically like a removal spell for anything. And we're going to go ahead and play this Castle Locked Wayne because we're going to. We're probably going to get rid of this compelling deterrence to make a zombie with Crit Breaker. Thought sees, uh, sure, that happens. Reduces our our zombie number. Gem pump looter is the easy choice by about a hundred. Maybe they won't take it. Maybe they'll take the undying malice. I don't know. I don't know their life. Maybe they're feeling themselves. Okay, they got the they got the polluter. Okay. We'll get rid of this compelling deterrence. Turn it into a zombie. Oh man. We're gonna we're gonna do this for a black. We have a relentless dead here. And instead of drawing a card, we're just gonna push this damage, which I think we really need to do. We really need to do against Atraxa. So we will. Relentless Dead is really great. When it dies, you can pay a black. Curse of Silence. I assume this is going to be on Gisa and Giraffe. Anyway, when it dies, you can pay a black return at hand, and then you can also pay X, return another zombie from that, that mana cost from your graveyard to play. Okay, Gisa and Giraffe will indeed... All right, this is gonna this is gonna get a blue for us. We don't need mini. We don't need mini blue. Got a snow covered island. And uh, the und I think we're probably gonna pitch the undying malice actually. So let's let's attack here, and then we'll pass the turn. Felstinger will think about. Uh, <sighs> well, we're definitely going to pitch the, und pitch the Undying Malice now. Going to bounce this zombie. Okay, going to bounce, bounce Relentless dead. All right. Okay. Uh, let's make a zombie. Undying Malice. You're gone. 
Ooh, Faceless Haven is a very good pickup, actually. Uh, just one. One here, one here. Go at you, and then we're going to Relentless Dead. And we're going to Fell Stinger. We are going to exploit this zombie. And we're going to lose two and draw two. Alright, excellent. Okay, and then we can tap Crit Breaker, Relentless Dead, and Fell Stinger. Oh, there goes Crit Breaker. Oh, they're going to get Relentless Dead. Okay. Interesting. I mean, Relentless Dead's really good. Crit Breaker's pretty scary, though. Oh, God. If we can untap and... Pay six? Oh, for the Jump Bump Looter. Oh, yes. All right, if they can't stop it, the Wand is going to suit up on the Fell Stinger. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yes. Give me the zombies. Three zombies. This is lethal. This is easy lethal. Yeah, we only have lands and creatures. That's specifically the things you can't get. They need to sweep her right now or this game is over. Yes! <laughs> ah, zombies beats down Atraxa, Wand of Orcus, MVP, uh, putting lethal on board for the next turn. So good. All right, on the draw against Ramos Dragon Engine, we do have a long game card, Reflections of Litjara, which is essentially uh, Necroduality. We're going to keep either way. We have a white and Lily on the Last Hope, so. Pretty great. Pretty good curve. And Reflections is just uh, going to be really hard for really hard for our opponent to deal with. Man, if this taps, we get to pick it off with Liliana. I'm really looking forward to that. Cold Steel Heart, okay. Tap, uh, tap your little Paradise Druid. Come on, don't be scared. What could go wrong? All right, we'll attack. Not gonna block. All right, we're not gonna play Liliana uh, because they have six mana and they could just play Ramos which I don't want to have happen. Ooh, they are missing a land. Now that is interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. Well, we're going to keep we're going to keep trucking. All right. Pass turn. Growth spiral. We're going to let them keep this cuz I want to pick it off with Liliana. No, we gotta counter that. Okay. Excellent. We'll, we will pick this off with Liliana. Oh, we have a we have a double Liliana action. Uh, Reflections is really tempting to put down, but let's go ahead and pick off their mana with our Planeswalker. So good, and then attack four three. We only have one zombie, but this is so far been the only one we've needed. All right, Shipwreck Marsh. We'll go ahead and attack for three. All right, let's go upstairs and submit zero. And we're gonna name, we're gonna play Reflections of Litjara, and we are gonna name Zombie. So uh, our opponent could unleash the Inferno, deal seven damage. Uh, so if we kill this. Yeah, let's let's kill this. It'll counter it'll counter their spell, and they won't do anything. Yes, yes, yes. Oh god, the fatal push, preventing our opponent from doing that. So good. On the play against Hapatra Vizier of Poisons, we do have a cut down to beat up Hapatra. We don't have a blue. We have a Jadar. Because Apatra is could actually be bad news. Could be very, very bad news. We're on the play. I'm gonna keep it. The only the only other game we've lost is when I kept a hand like this, so 
cer- certainly that won't happen again, right? That would be crazy. Crazy thing for it to happen again. We'll give it a go. We are on the play. So, uh, Jadar on turn two can counter, and then we can cut down and get rid of their Hapatra on turn two. Okay, we're not gonna not gonna kill that. All right, we have our Jadar, even though we're completely colded by this Ceruli ga uh, caretaker. All right, is Hapatra coming down to town? It is. God, what if they give something minus one, minus one right now? That would be really bad. Don't do it. My entire plan is going to fall apart. Don't do it. No! All right. Ottawara. Yeah, let's... Well, we're going to cut, cut this down. And then we're going to pass. Not going to do anything. Uh, might, we might be compelling, doing a compelling deterrence of something. Blood Artiste. Going to tap Blood Artiste for Allosaurus Shepherd. That is fine. They're pretty choked on mana, so let's bounce this Ceruli Gatekeeper, and then they have to discard a card. Oh, Jadar's not a zombie. Can't come back with Geese and Giroff. Oh, Diagraph Colossus. That is a good one. Oh, let's play this. I'm not going to attack yet. We have two lords in our hand, so this actually represents a bit more damage than two. You know, at some point. We're just gonna try we're just gonna make uh Okay. Alright. I mean that is a that is a way to get Hapatra out. Alright. Lord of the Occurs, this is gonna make a zombie. And then we will go attacking with uh Yeah, we'll do, go attack with both of these. Get him down. Yep. We get drained for one. That's okay. We have a Blade Stitcher Scob coming down next turn. I'm at Eternal. Okay. We cast a spell. Put a minus one, minus one counter on I'm at Eternal. Mega Green Snake with Death Touch. That's the worst part. That is the absolute worst part. We could give things... Um, where's Dill's Comet to a player? Remove all of its stuff. Okay. I could do this. I don't want to attack with this, and I don't want to block with this. So we're just going to say go. Whenever we cast a spell, they have a zombie. Oh, no. All right. Well, we really needed to counter that Yawgmoth. Um, believe that we're dead? Like, they're just going to be able to sweep our entire board. Yep. And they have Blood Artist. Man, what a, what a combo. What a combination. Yeah, because they can sacrifice this, drain us, make something smaller. Gosh, Disdainful Stroke. We needed that Disdainful Stroke that turn. I think we could have came out of this. We could have came out of this if, uh, if Yawgmoth wasn't around, but... Yogmoth, just too powerful with Apatra. That is the best card in their deck, without a doubt. Like, it's not even close. Nest of Scarabs is really good, but this is like on Nest of Scarabs on demand. And they don't even have to... All it costs them is a one life. 
Which doesn't even cost them because they have Blood Artist. So. We could, uh, we could go through this. Uh, but you know what? We're gonna, we're, they, they got it. They got it. Good game. We'll concede this one. We'll concede this one. We're not able to, we're not able to break this combo up, so we'll, we'll take our L and move on. All right, we are on the play against uh, Aserak, the Arch Lich, and as we know, this is basically a combo deck. We do have Crit Breaker, so we can put a lot of pressure on, and I guess we're just going to keep it based on that. You know, it's it's going to be difficult. We we absolutely have to just be able to continue put pressure on, and maybe we can do that. Maybe maybe we legitimately can do that. And we're going to get rid of... Uh, Graph Harvest having Menace. That probably doesn't matter. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and venture into a dungeon. Let's get rid of this Crippling Fear that I don't think is going to meaningfully come up this game. Alright, well, Lord of the Accursed. I mean, not what we wanted, but... We can at least get it back with Geese and Draw, so when we get to five mana. Replicating Ring. Okay, here comes. Here comes the mana. We just gotta we just gotta attack. We gotta mount to 18. 18's not bad. Sweepers will still give us Interflex Reservoir. Okay, they're slowly assembling their combo. Dungeon Crawler, sure. Dark Slick Shores, not what we wanted. We mill four. Okay, Felstinger, not bad. Alright, we have down to 11. We can give, with Graph Harvest, we can give them Menace. Maybe that's enough. Ace Rack. Okay. Return it. Okay. I mean, they're trying to gain some life here. Yep. Acerac. Return it. Uh, this can block. Yeah, they're just... I mean, they're just trying to gain some life. I can respect that. Felstinger. Okay, so first, first things first. I'm going to give our zombies menace. Yes! <laughs> Oh, they could not handle it. Menace. Now, I think they may have thought that this is a zombie, which uh, would be not... It actually is lethal with Felstinger, but it's not actually factually lethal because they can block this. But, I mean, it's putting them really low. You just got to put a lot of pressure on this on Acerac, and then you can, uh, you can win. I'm ha happy about that one. We are on the draw against Vraska Betrayal's Sting, and I believe that Necro Duality and Reflections of Litjara are the best cards in this matchup. They're playing mono black. It's really difficult for them to interact with these, and if we can just spam the board, um, that might be enough. So because of that, we're going to keep this two land hand with Necro Duality. We do have a two drop and maybe another two drop. Okay, yeah, we have two two drops that we can play. So, Arcane Signet, they're going hard towards this, towards their uh, their Vraska. But if we can draw a land, I I I, I want to land so badly. I think I'm gonna play. Okay, we have to discard a card, then they can discard. We can discard an additional card. Okay, we're gonna discard this compelling deterrence. And then if they get a random card from our library in their hand, yeah, we're just gonna get rid of the deterrence. No, they can have a you can have a card. Maybe should have gotten rid of the Liliana, but okay, there's Takanuma. All right, so with Takanuma, let's go ahead and attack. We need to kill the hobbled zombie. Uh, yeah, let's just play Graveyard Marshal. And let's just play Falmar Knight. 
I know we could copy these, but we're going to have more zombies coming. All right. So all of their cards in their hand have... Uh, the small cards, they lose a life when they play it. Okay, right on. This is six for Vraska, so if they play Vraska, Vraska's gonna die. If they play Vraska and minus it on this, it's gonna die. Crippling Fear. So they got Crippling Fear out of... Did they get that out of our deck? Or maybe it was out of theirs. Who knows? Necro Duality. Uh, no attacks. Might might need that to attack uh, to attack Vraska. All right, a land would be great. That is legally a land. All right, pay three life. Keys and off. All right, we're gonna play Falmire Knight. We're gonna copy it. This ults at nine. I'm a little scared, to be perfectly honest. So. We'll go ahead and have that bite the dust. Okay, we're one away from, from Liliana. Which is obviously very good. And we can play... Oh, we got plenty of things to play from our graveyard. Crux of Fate. Alright. Take it back. No! Bajookabog. Bajookabog is a good one. Alright. Oh, Tainted Adversary, that's a pretty good draw. Necro Duality is going to copy it. We will pay. We can't pay the next time. But pretty good. Pretty solid here. Okay. Vraska at 7. Ah, I can't believe they, they exiled all... Exiled our whole graveyard. Karn? All right. Uh, you can have a swamp, I guess. So, we are going to try to kill Vraska. They have four lands. They could definitely stop it. Drowned in Iker. Alright, well, we gotta, uh, we gotta attack Vraska. We don't want this to proliferate and go crazy. So. Alright. Attack. It is de they are decayed. We'll hit Vraska for six. Sacrifice it into combat. And then we're gonna get two Diagraph Ghouls. Okay. Diagraph Ghoul. Enters the battlefield. You can kill it if you want. Still gonna make a copy. Infernal Grasp. All right. All right, 16. I really want to get this Liliana down. All right. They're making a 2-2 blocker. Understandable. Five cards in hand. That's still so many. All right. It's a 3-3 blocker now. Okay. That is a Liliana. Okay, we want to play this first. We're not going to minus. They could cuz they could just end up killing Liliana. And that would be bad. This has got death touch. Let's Let's go down here and uh try to kill Vraska. And they can trade, which is fine. We draw a card, Vraska goes to 1. Narfi, excellent. Narfi is a lord for our zombies, and we can return Narfi once we get a third Snowland. We have two right now. Exile and enchantment. Oh no, Necro Duality's gone. That's not what we want at all. Okay, they can get a. You can have a snow covered swamp. 
That means that we know that that uh, they can go they can go nab that with the silver. Ooh, staff of completion. Their life's getting it is in question somewhat. Hang on, this is this isn't all free, you know. All right, make a zombie. Could technically play both. All right. Well, we need to we need to play Narfi for sure. We also we also picked up our last swamp to to get Narfi, which I think we're actually going to sacrifice Narfi post combat uh, and play this Kalidus. Yeah, let's just hit Karn. Murder Shredder's gonna have to get uh, Liliana. Like, for sure. Alright. Kalidus. We'll get rid of Narfi. Draw a card. Narfi will be back. Never fear. Baleful Mastery. So, okay. Liliana's gonna go that way. Exiled. We're still going to draw a card. Okay. Fatal Push, going to be good against this Crawling Barons for sure. Also good if they... Okay, they're going to keep going upstairs. Uh, you can have Cold Steel Heart. Not Evolve Sleeper. Okay, going to proliferate more. Okay, so we have a 2, a 3, and a 4... In our graveyard. The famous Meat Hook Massacre. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Cold Steel Heart. Okay. Uphill battle. They could hit us for six if they paid a life with their staff of completion. I don't want to mouse over it in case they think we're looking. Oh, uh, yeah. They figured it out. Attack us for eight. Eight's a lot. Eight is a lot. Okay, this returns tapped. So, three... So we can do all of these. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just do that. Because I want to be... I want to hold this up to kill it. Okay, they're going to get a card from Exile. It's probably going to be Murder Strider, I would imagine. Yeah, Murder Strider. Okay. Proliferating. I don't have a way to gain life yet. They do have this Pristine Talisman. Maybe that's going to be doing the work. Stone Coil Serpent. All right. So that's a little scary. I'll be I'll be real. Pretty scary. Okay. Uh let's go ahead and tainted indulgence first. So we're gonna draw two and then discard a card. Let's discard Fable Passage. And then we're gonna bring Narfi back. The Narf Dog. Okay. Untap. So, we need to hold this up. We could play Geese and Giraffe. I think we do that. Okay. Crypt Breaker. And... Uh, Crit Breaker and Relentless Dead. Relentless Dead is a really, really spicy one, actually. Because we can loop it with Phyrexian Tower, but we need to make it to next turn to do that. Which I have my doubts about, to be honest. I think we should have played uh, Putrid Goblin and then sacrificed it. And then had, another, had the Putrid Goblin out uh, to pay for this. That way we could have, uh, have this on the battlefield. 
Either way, uh, can't attack into that, so we'll just pass the turn. We can't risk, because they're going to kill... Yeah, they're going to kill that. Um, I think we're going to sacrifice it, because they don't lose two life, but I don't want them to be able to... play it back. Yeah. And we'll move to the command zone. And we're done. Because that's just two life. That's two life they can... two life they can get. Which is bad news for us. Okay, still going upstairs. Oh, Lord. Diabolic Intent. We don't want that. I'm sure they would sacrifice this Stone Coil Serpent so they could Diabolic Intent. I would. In one second, I would. Would never doubt it. Yep. Can't block. Narfi's multicolored. This is a... Uh... Throne of Eldraine card, so... And it's always good in every situation it's ever been in. I get to proliferate on a Stone Coil Serpent? That's pretty gross. Edifice of Authority. So once they put a, put a, put a brick counter on here... I think we have to hold this for the this lethal thing they, they got going. All right, let's Laza to Breaver. Tap in our blue for some absolute unknown reason. Let's drain them for four. Uh, we're going to attack their face for four. Yeah, they're gonna act. They're gonna activate crawling barons, which which is good. We want we want that to die. All right, crawling barons. Pay. Uh, we're gonna sacrifice this token. Can you stop that? Yeah, we're gonna lose a life. That's fine. They're gonna lose four life if they can't stop this Narfi though. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, getting them in range. Getting them in range for the Jim Palm Polluter. It's all we need. Oh, I think it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Never coming back. That's okay. We got other stuff. I don't know what, but we'll find it. Diabolic content. All right. Can you finish me off? Yeah, I gotta sacrifice, uh... Gotta sacrifice that. Okay, we're at 11. Can I get for 11? Because I feel like they're close to killing us, just like equally as close as we are to killing them. A sweeper? If we can get back Relentless Dead, we can sacrifice... Gray Merchant, Sacrifice Relentless Dead, bring back Gray Merchant with Relentless Dead, and then win. I do that line all the time in my favorite commander deck. So, it, we have it available to us now. Load on the snow. Okay. Uh, ooh, they have Murder Strider to come back. That's not good. That is lifelink. Magister Scepter, that is equally not good. Oh, no. You're going to proliferate? They're going to remove three charge counters next turn, and we're going to lose. Siege Zombie. I don't think that's enough. I don't think that's enough. All right. Oh, I tapped so poorly. That's why it wanted me to do that. It's like, no, don't tap your don't tap your snow. And I did tap my snow, and now we can't block this. I don't think it I honestly, I actually don't think it matters. Uh they're gonna be able to take 
an extra turn. That's bad news. That's real bad news. Extra turns are bad. Vorpal Sword? Uh, I can't give you Vorpal Sword. We can't be losing to Vorpal Sword. Man, totally, totally could have just held up these. The game wanted me to. It really wanted me to. All right, that happens. Okay. Oh, they're not taking an extra turn this time. Okay. Skyclave Relic. Okay. That is interesting that they opted to not take an extra turn. They had it available to them. We could deny them uh, the life. Which I think I'm going to do... We'll sacrifice this creature. Could have brought could have brought Narfi back. Instead, we were a fool. Okay, okay. Stitch swing scop. That's not bad. Siege zombie. God, they're just gonna they're just gonna be able to take two turns in a row. We're just a little. Slow. We're just a little bit slow. Not a lot slow, and a little slow. God, look at all these. Can't attack or block. Yeah, well, we're going to sacrifice this. Get a couple of mana. Alright, uh... Uh, Lazatep Reaver. That can block. Right, two. <sighs> I think I don't think we're gonna be able to fight out of this. Haas negotiations. I don't even know what this does. I do know they lose three life when they do it though. Exile the top three cards in a face down pile, then exile. Choose a pile to put in your opponent's hand. Proliferate. I mean, Scheming Aspirant, um, okay. Exile top three, then exile the top three face down. Look at each card, look at the cards in each pile, then turn a pile of your choice face up. Okay. So, this one lets them gain life. Do we think the other one lets them gain life? Like, I, I think this is the better pile. But this is like the devil you know versus the devil you don't. They can have they can have the secret one. Go ahead. Let's find out. Yep. They have an extra turn. They did not proliferate when this had when they had it on here. That's kinda notable actually. Like that is that is that is notable. Because they could have proliferated, and then they could have taken an extra, another, another turn. And now they're not going to be able to do that. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm a, I'm a block. If you can kill it, then so be it. Get your four life. Okay. Yeah, can't attack or block. Okay. Okay, they got an 11 11. Can they take another turn? Can they take another turn? Alright, we'll block. Give me Grey Merchant. Okay, no Grey Merchant. No Grey Merchant for me. All right, let's make uh, make some mana. I wish we had Narfi in play this whole time. I feel like that would make things a lot easier. Now we're just we're just dead. We're spinning our wheels. 
No attacks. We're going to succumb to the extra turn. Uh, we will... We will ultimately die. We're just one turn away from getting that Grey Merchant back. Yeah, good game. Good game. It got us. I don't think there's anything that we can draw. God, 12 mana for Geese and Giroff here. They've really not abused this Magic Receptor like they could have. Like they definitely they could have they could have like mega abused it. Instead, they have just kind of just decided not to. Technically, keeps us alive. Man, what would have been different if we had this Narfi? We we could have. We definitely could have. All right. That'll pretty much that'll pretty much do it. They have a proliferate here. They have a proliferate here. We gotta block them all. Uh, b throw a block up. Throw a block up. Throw a block up. If only we had something. Remember when we had that necro duality? I feel like that would have been really good at any any point. Oh, they had so few ways to get rid of it. Debt to the kami. That was one of them. All right, good game. Good game. They got us. Well fought. Well fought. I can appreciate that. Negative 42. Closer than it looked. Closer than it looked. I think we made some mistakes. Other than the Narfi. The Narfi thing was actually pretty big. I think we made some mistakes that probably gave us uh, less of a chance in that game. I'll have to go back and watch this one. This is, this is definitely one that, uh, you know... Long game situations can get can get tough, but I think we I think we could have won had we done some things different. Well, I, I gotta say I absolutely love Geese and Giroff. I love zombies. It is my absolute favorite creature to have to play with. It's not even close that it is my favorite. I feel very happy about being able to put a deck together that is really so synergy based and not having just a, a ton of like what are considered like historic brawl staples and still being able to perform really really well like we basically i mean what do we lose two games the first one and the last one and then that was it we t took down every other game and I, I i really feel like that last one we could have won uh i i don't know i i love zombies you really need to know lines with graveyards and being able to get eke out just a little bit of advantage from everything but if you're able to do that man there's so many tools pretty much every meaningful zombie tool in magic is on arena now I, there's only a couple that are not grave titan obviously is is a huge one uh and there's a couple of other ones but honestly zombies is really where it's at i feel like it's up there in power with some of the most powerful creature types maybe elves is the only one that hasn't beat but for my money, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick zombies every single time. Thank you all so much for watching, and please like this video if you enjoyed this deck. Uh, this is one, and maybe another zombie deck that I would definitely play again. Doesn't exactly have to be Gisa and Giraffe here, but just enjoy playing these decks so so much. So please hit that like button if you enjoyed it as well. And of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe now. That way you can make sure to catch all of the historic brawl. Cube, Commander, Gladiator, all the best singleton format content that Magic has to offer. If you want to follow me on social media, you can do that right down here to see what I'm up to when I'm not on YouTube. Thank you all so, so much. I'm Justin Parnell, and I'll catch you next time.